Now we're going to troubleshoot some connectivity and authentication issues. We will take a look at a make-believe trouble ticket and see what's happening. We will try to reproduce the problem and then we will troubleshoot and solve the problem. And as we do, I'm going to sort of talk you through the steps that I'm using. Uh, troubleshooting is a very personal thing to do and everybody has their, their own preferred sequence of things to try for different for different problems. Uh, troubleshooting is very much based on one's own particular experience with a specific configuration. Uh, there's absolutely no substitute for that. But this is a good way of coming at things, uh, especially if you are new to a system. We will also take a look at an authentication problem. So we'll take a look at another make-believe troubleshooting ticket and we'll see what's going on with authentication. Uh, that's Obviously, the troubleshooting ticket is going to have to do with authentication, and we will try different things to see if we can isolate the problem and then solve it. Now let's take a look at troubleshooting a real common kind of problem, an authentication problem. I have a little client web page up here that notice is going to connect to the AW intranet. Okay, so let's go ahead and connect it up and oh dear look an authentication error occurred now Microsoft tries to be very helpful about this it gives you a description unhandled exception occurred and so forth review the stack trace for more information about where it happened and so forth authentication error when connecting to the data source okay. now the it, it doesn't tell us about the source code Okay. because that only works when it's been compiled in debug, debug mode, which this wasn't because this is in production. There are several things that you can do. That you could, This tells you how to compile it in debug mode, or you can put the following into the configuration and say compilation debug is true. Of course, you'll have to recompile and so forth. And um, here's the stack trace, although frankly, that doesn't really tell us anything very much. We are interested in why we got an authentication error connecting to our intranet application. In order to find that out, we're going to have to do a bit of spelunking. First, I'm going to go to the administrative console for the Internet Information Service and take a look at that application. So here are websites and it's the default website and here is AW Intranet. Okay. And we, here is the default ASPX, that is the page we were trying to connect to when we got the error. And here is web config. Now web config is going to have information about authentication and how that works. You'll notice that we, we can't open this from here. If I try to browse to it, then I, it says I, you can't have this page. And indeed, we don't want config files to be served. That would just be like putting out the welcome mat for all of the hackers in the world. So we're going to go to the properties and see what this is. All right, and here's the local path, AW Intranet Web Config. Now, in this case, it's incredibly simple, and I didn't have to go here to, to find that out. But it might be buried way down in somewhere. So we're going to go and look at that file in a way where we can open it and see its innards. So I'm going to close the Internet Information Service Manager, and I'm simply going to fire up Windows Explorer and drill down through Drive C, INET Pub, WWW root, and then here is our AW intranet. So I'm going to click that. Here's the web config file, and I'm going to open it with Notepad. Now this is a simple one. Uh, most of these aren't too complicated, but this is a particularly simple one. <coughs> and here's the configuration, system web, trace, Windows authentication, okay, and notice identity impersonate Username is AW Web App. And here's the password. Oh my. We have been trying to connect with Windows Integrated uh, uh, Authentication, and this one uses its own identity. Okay. 
What we're going to have to do then is to create one of these. And as it just so happens, I have out here a little batch file that I will show you that does exactly that. This is just SQL command. It's going to create a login AW web app, which is the, um, uh, the, the ID that was expected in the web config. Then it's going to create a user in the AdventureWorks database for AW web app. And finally, it's going to grant select on the appropriate resource to that user. So we'll run the batch file. Now let's see if we can connect. And Shazam, there is the record set. In a .NET world, authentication becomes very, very interesting. <clears throat> you want to look at your web config files and make sure that everything is coordinated amongst your applications the web config, and the database that you're connecting to.